Hey guys, yeah, as you can tell, I'm in Patterson, uh, and the reason I'm here is because I'm going to get my second shot of the Moderna shot, uh, vaccine, and once I get that, I will be completely fully vaccine vaccinated. I won't have to worry about uh, wearing a mask that much anymore, um, as long as I got the card and, and everything, so yeah, after today I should be good to go. Um, I didn't film anything on the bus on the way here because, you know, I was listening to some music, you know, and, uh, you know, just trying to, I know I said, you know, a couple of times already, sorry about that, but, you know, I was just trying to get back into the groove of things, you know, when, you know, being back on the bus and everything, so, yeah, uh, long story short, I'm here in Patterson, like I said, getting ready to get my second dose, hopefully I can get in there early and get out, if what I'm planning is you know, potentially viable, then I will uh, basically be in there, get my shot, wait a few, wait about 15 something minutes, and hopefully I'll be out in time to go across the street, catch that bus, which is basically the same bus, us, but just a different driver, different bus too, the same route, and ride back to uh, Newman. So we'll see what happens, but yeah, I'm here in Patterson and about to get my second vaccine shot, hopefully, uh, you know, early that is, you know, get it out of the way, and uh, we'll see what happens, but yeah, I'm going, but yeah, this is it, this is the last shot I need as far as I know, and then afterwards I'm done, I will be fully vaccinated, uh, um, hopefully nothing will come up. I know that potentially I'm going to, um, you know, be, you know, potentially be a little tired or something. Hold on for a sec. Like I said, um, hopefully nothing comes up. I mean, like I said, I know I'm going to be a little tired and everything probably later today or tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, not really much more to say than that, but today, um, like I said, I'm going to get my second shot. Hopefully get in there early and, you know, go from there and see what happens. You know, if I have to wait, I have to wait. But, you know, last time I went to get my first shot, I was able to get off early. And get in there, I was able to get in there early. So hopefully I can get in there early this time around as well. So that's all I'm going to say, guys. And I'll update you later. Peace out. Take care. I'll be back. Hey guys, yep, I just got out of the uh, Hammond Senior Center. I don't know why they would send me a reminder with a scheduled appointment on there, which was one o'clock, when it's pretty much known, and I pretty much knew this already, because that's why I came early. Figured I'd get out early, you know, get in early, get out early. Except my plan to catch the same bus route, if you will, going back kind of backfired, but that's okay, I can wait a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I am I am now fully vaccinated. Yeah, I got my second dose, uh, as you saw, and uh, I'm good to go. The only uh, thing I have to worry about basically is, you know, headaches perhaps and soreness and a little bit of tiredness, and that's about it. So that's all I have to worry about. Um, you know, it, it's, it's kind of weird when you think about it. It's kind of, it's kind of weird. Uh, to know that, um, you know, I could have gotten this probably a lot sooner, except, you know, they said in Mandura, Mandura, I'm sorry if I pronounced the name wrong, Mandura is a 28-day wait between doses, and the Pfizer, or the Pfizer, if you will, is 21. So, it's a kind of, a, it's kind of weird, but it's kind of a weird, strange kind of scheduling, and, and you know, basically a week difference. Um, I, I can only assume it's because maybe the Pfizer, or the Pfizer is a lot stronger than the Mandura, Mandura one, and they don't want to, you know, risk, hold on for a sec. Like I said, I don't, I don't know what the difference is. I, again, I guess the uh, Pfizer is a lot stronger of a dosage than the Mandura, and 
you know that's why it's a week less it's a week less wait uh, to get a second dosage but it's just it's kind of strange when you think about it the scheduling of how they did it i mean why couldn't they just schedule both you know at the same time i mean uh, well actually they have technically done that but it all depends on when you got the pfizer and then the mandura and, and all that um but yeah this was the second but yeah overall this was the second dosage for me and um pretty i'm pretty gonna be i'm pretty sure i'll be all right just there's nothing really wrong with me on that you know i'm pretty good i'm pretty healthy if you will so i don't think anything will come of it like i said the only thing i may end up being is a lot tarder than usual so if i don't do any content that much later or even tomorrow that's basically because the the effects of the, of the vaccine are taking the, are taking the toll i mean i know some people have said that sometimes it all depends on how you react to it and sometimes it, you know the reactions don't hurt too much but we'll see what happens but yeah i am now fully vaccinated i i am in the clear uh, I know I still have to probably wear a mask once in a while, there's no doubt, uh, just for precautions, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty much, in the clear, pretty much in the clear now, and you know, we'll see what happens. I know a lot of people don't like the idea of the fact that they have to get vaccinated. I know my second oldest sister doesn't like the idea, along with her husband, but unfortunately for them, I think they're going to have to get it soon. You know, because, you know, she wants to go to concerts and all that, and she's going to have to do it eventually. She's going to have to do it, and I think my, my brother-in-law's job is going to probably be telling him, hey, you have to do this, you have to get it done with. And I think my sister's job is going to do the same thing. I mean, they've already had the FDA uh, approve uh, the Pfizer the Pfizer, uh, the Pfizer shot for 12 and 15, which is, you know, the son, the youngest son. So, you know, there's no, so obviously there's no uh, getting away from it because that's basically the first step. So I would assume that, you know, very soon they're going to have to do it whether they like to or not. And you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if to make sure people get vaccinated, they put in fines. You know, that I wouldn't be surprised if Biden or even state government, go, you know, state government say, hey, look, if you don't get va vaccinated, you will be fined. You know, we want to fight this thing. We want to get rid of it. You need to get vaccinated. And I think that's what's going to happen, unfortunately. I think fines are going to get levied as they look over at the Edison baseball field. Uh, but anyway, I think I've, I've got a feeling. <laughs> I've got a feeling that's what's going to happen. That, you know, fines will start being levied. And, you know, and if they don't want that, that's probably, they don't want to have to pay the fine. That's probably how they're going to have to get vaccinated. So... You know, we'll see what occurs, but again, overall, for me, I'm done. I'm fully vaccinated. We'll see what the end result is, you know, within the next week or so. And that's all I'm going to say, guys. So, till next time, God bless. Take care. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. And I am out. I will talk to you all later. Hey, guys. Yeah, I, I did say that the last video was the last one, but consider this the last one. A bit of a added addition bonus whatever uh, but yeah I'm back home in Newman heading home right now uh, and like I said I just got my uh, vaccine shot and you know, looks like they're working on that so it's right there it's been longer to do I guess uh, but anyway I just got my vaccine shot like I said in Patterson I left my house about 10:45 now it's about 2 30 so almost i would say four hours later it's about but it's not really because you know 10 45 to 12 45 is you know a two hour 145 is three so yeah about four hours but on average what i used to work like four an hour shift on these kind of days so yeah not too bad back you know gone and back before my mom gets home she gets off at 4 30 so gave me enough time to do what i had to do i went lunch got lunch at blues cafe where we would go anyway to get something to eat you know when we're in town to take care of stuff like let's say vaccination shots and all that so that was pretty cool 
what we'll do for the first time in a while. Got a Charlie and the tuna sandwich, six inch sandwich with uh, chips and, you know, Dr. Pepper. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah, I've been so far in just nearly four hours, a very eventful day and, you know, still got the rest of the day to go and probably just relax a little bit because that's what you need to do is relax move the arm that's got shot at like this one around a little bit so you don't feel too much pain and uh, overall you know it's not a bad day yeah it is warm but there's a bit of a breeze keeping it cool it's supposed to be like 95 today but it feels like it might be less than that but we'll see and uh yeah um like i said before i'm fully vaccinated now and hopefully there'll be no side effects the only common side effects that have been reported you know, for anybody that gets these shots, whether it's the Mondera, Mondera or the Pfizer, is uh, you get headaches, maybe a bit of nausea, nausea not nausea, but uh, nausea. You get a bit of headaches, nausea, tiredness mostly. Uh, because basically what, what the reason those symptoms are around, in my opinion, mostly the tiredness, is so that your body can relax to let the medicine, you know, do its job. So... Yeah, overall, not a bad day so far, and uh, gonna head home, relax, probably do a package opening video here and there, because uh, some packages came while I was out, I checked the security camera, hopefully they're still there, and uh, yeah, not a bad day, you know, not a bad day today, and it actually felt kind of good getting back into that routine of taking the bus to, to Patterson to take care of stuff, because normally I would do it to do go to work, and that's not the case anymore unless you know god you know has something in store because i saw two people today you know i used to work with one on the bus up to patterson and then one when i was walking back into the plaza circle in veterans memorial park uh, towards blues cafe to get something to, to eat uh, and it was the guy that uh was it has kind of some uh issues special needs if you will but uh was very good at doing carts so overall not a bad day and you know and hey those seeing those two people is a sign that maybe i'll be going back soon uh we'll see but uh yeah that's all i'm gonna say though guys guys and you know what like i said once again i'm fully vaccinated and uh to see what happens next again i think the only side effects that will happen with me when it comes to the shot is um tiredness and probably a bit of a headache and that's about it so till next time guys i'll talk to you later take care god bless get vaccinated yourself and i am out